from as far back as I can remember, I've battled emotionally, physically, and psychologically with these deep insecurities. Whether it was being bullied as a kid, eating through depression, or being seemingly unable to stop for no apparent reason. But now's the time I'll go face to face with my deepest insecurity in front of the world to see. And that is my 384 pound binge eating disorder. Throughout my entire life, I've always felt defined by my weight. I was always known as that big guy or a lovable giant. But I was much more than just a number and being the size that I am came with some crazy drawbacks. And today I'm gonna be honest and transparent about that. I've always felt weight issues are very embarrassing and I know everybody else struggles with their own issues, whether it be depression, you don't like how you look in a bathing suit or any other addiction. But with eating disorders, sometimes it feels like there's just a giant red flag taped onto your body for the whole world to see whether you like it or not. Now I'm not gonna sit here and blame anybody for not stopping me, enabling me, or nobody teaching me how to eat growing up. Because at the end of the day, I made my own decisions and deep down I knew they were unhealthy. It started by eating whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted as a kid. See, I was really independent as a kid since my parents were gone a lot of the time working to be able to provide for us. And I just started eating more and more and more until it became piles of food that I couldn't even finish by myself. I just wanna put this into perspective for you guys because this is really embarrassing and I feel like it needs to be put out there so that you understand and if anybody's going through this, they understand that they're not alone. But when I would go to McDonald's, which was a regular thing when I was between 17 and 21, I would order 10 piece chicken nuggets, a large order of french fries, two double cheeseburgers, and an apple pie and I would wash that all down with a large Coke. To put that into perspective, that's 2,270 calories in one single meal. That's more than what's recommended to eat in one day, all packed into one meal full of almost no nutritional value. And while it grew to an addiction that I could no longer control, it came with some real consequences. Between the ages of 17 to now, my weight has hovered between 340 and 390 pounds. To be honest, I didn't know the actual weight because I was too ashamed to weigh myself most of the time, but it did impact my life in a very severe way. Aside from the health complications that you're higher at risk for when you're overweight, there's actually a lot more that affects you than what normal people realize. Now I'm not gonna lie, some of these things make me feel really bad about myself, and there's an entire list of small things that I deal with every day, but here are some big ones that really mean a lot to me. And I've always loved aviation, the science behind it, how an airplane works, and I've always wanted to get my private pilot's license. But the drawback of being my size is that the planes that they use to teach students are way too small for me. Either I'm gonna be over the weight limit or I'm gonna be cramped up and not be able to control the plane. And of course, that's aside from all of the other health requirements. But because of my size, that's just something that's not doable right now. And speaking about planes, commercial flying is the worst. I have to sit in a seat that's not made for people like me and cram in and then ask for a seat belt extender sometimes because it's so embarrassing that I can't put on a normal seat belt in some of these planes. Another issue is clothing. I can't even remember the last time I was able to walk into a Macy's or an H&M and go and pick out my favorite clothes and know that they have my size. And it's the same thing online. I love companies like Teddy Fresh and their designs and I absolutely wish that I could buy it, but they don't carry it in my size. And because of that, I feel like I have less of a voice in my fashion sense because I have to shop at specialty shops like DXL, which make clothing for larger individuals, uh, but it does come at a heftier price and a smaller selection. But it's a lot of things like this that are really small that most people take for granted that really affect me and I don't feel like I'm living the same life as a normal person. And even though those are just a few that impact me the most, the list goes on. My wife would love to parasail with me, but I'm too heavy. I wanna ride a roller coaster, but I won't fit. I had to buy special chairs, a bed frame, and more just to be able to use it without breaking them. And at the end of the day, it really just feels like this world was not made for people like me. Now, just to be clear, I'm not saying that airplanes should have bigger seats just for me or Teddy Fresh should have larger sizes to be able to accommodate me. It just doesn't make sense business-wise. So I'm simply pointing these out because these are things that a normal person would do that I no longer get to experience. But now that you understand how I feel, I wanna explain why I'm making this video and why I'm completely changing my life forever. 
Now as to why I'm making this video, sometimes when you have an insecurity, it feels like the entire world is judging you when half of them may not even be aware of it. But by putting my weight and my body on the internet, I'm taking away the hypothetical power from the people who my mind feels judged by. And by showing you my deepest insecurity, I take back that power, which then empowers me to change my life forever. And as for my journey, I started a month and a half ago, and I'm proud to say that I'm down 20 pounds. I completely made a lifestyle change that's really sustainable and that I actually love. And I got rid of most of the foods that were in my house, and I replaced them with whole foods that I pretty much cook every day. And I portioned my foods to meet my goals, but the most important thing is that I don't let food control me anymore. I still go out with my friends to enjoy a nice sushi night, a burger, or even Mexican nachos on Taco Tuesday. But it's all in moderation, and I'm in control of when and where I choose to eat. And the best part of all is I look forward to experiencing things that I have never done in my life. I can't wait to fly a plane, go parasailing with my wife while I'm on vacation, or even just go into a mall and buy a shirt that fits me. But until that day comes, I look forward to sharing some of that process with you here on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and subscribe. And if you're going through something similar, just know that you're not alone. It is possible. And all you have to do is start. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And until next time.